The inquiry says, is there a difference from retaining knowledge from reading a book and listening to an audiobook? I mean, I don't think you retain very much from a book or an audiobook overall. That's, I'm not really a fan of books as much as I used to be. Like last year, I read over 120 books. And granted, I got a lot of lessons from it. And I can skim through a spreadsheet of all the books that I read. Because I'll, I'll document them all in the spreadsheet with the key points and, and the cliff notes. So if I ever want to like revisit that idea, I can go back and check it out. But I don't feel you retain that much from books because there's just so much information. Like 300 pages, you can't retain that. And so what happens when I read books is I'll retain like five key things or five key lessons about the book. And I don't feel that's very productive with all the time invested because I usually pick up on the five key lessons in the first two or three chapters of the book and then the book just repeats itself. Because books, I feel like, like even with my book, you're pressured to like get out what you wanna say, but usually you can only fill like 30, 40 pages with what you wanna say, but then you have to make it 200 pages for it to be a book. So what I actually prefer doing when it comes to learning is, is watching CEO interviews and CEO talks. So for example, when I'll go and watch an interview with a CEO talking, I'll have, I'm not gonna go get my journal, but like when I watch an interview with like Toby Lucky. I'll have pages of notes. And the same with other entrepreneurs as well. When I read a book, I'll maybe have like six or seven lines of notes. And the rest is just like, books are unnecessarily long. And I learn way more selective <clears throat> or targeted information from watching interviews and actual talks on YouTube. Because right now, I'm trying to figure out how to be the best CEO and hire the best people and hire the best talent. And books are usually really broad because you can't make a book that's hyper-targeted because it won't sell well. But on YouTube, you can make hyper-targeted videos all day. I can go on YouTube and find a video on exactly how to hire a CFO, what they're supposed to be doing, how they're supposed to be looking at finances. And I find that's a lot better progress-wise for me than reading books right now.